second half of the book of Daniel is filled with prophecies. There's prophecies pertaining to the situation that the Jews found themselves in, and there are prophecies regarding the coming of the Messiah, and there are prophecies that have still yet to be fulfilled, which deal with the rising of the Antichrist in the end times. You know, we often think of many of these prophetic passages as being cryptic or full of symbolism, and they are in a way, but they're also very plain. Many of the prophecies of this book are so clear that their fulfillment is clearly evident, and even many of the prophecies that have yet to be fulfilled are clear as to what they mean, because the text spells out the future details in very clear details. But there are some passages that are less clear, and we shouldn't be dogmatic about our interpretations of such things. The goal of prophecy isn't merely that we should know every detail about what's going to happen, but that we would put our trust and hope in the God who orchestrates all these things. The last verse of the book of Daniel gives us some great advice to talking about end times. Go your way till the end, and you shall rest and shall stand in your allotted place at the end of days. In other words, we simply need to wait for God to do all these things. But we don't just wait around. We live life. We live it for God. We wait eagerly and wonder about all of it. But we also live very practically until God reveals the end of days, at which point we will receive what God has promised for us. I think it's a lot of fun to debate what we think about the end days. What do you think the Bible says about the order in which all these things will take place? But let's not miss the point of prophecy, that we will trust and hope in the God who will bring the end about. Because He wins, and He is worthy of all of our praise. God bless you, and see you tomorrow.